great news this morning. Um, I've been I've been cleared. I've been vindicated. Uh, yes, you may remember that um, after I identified as a two spirit penguin. Yeah. Have we got a clip? Let's remind you of what happened. Sure, I'm a penguin. Explaining. I'm a penguin. Happened. Identifying as a two-spirit penguin. Yep. Everyone happy with that? <laughs> yes, I'm perfectly happy with you. Two-spirit, gender-neutral, sure pan-gender, not... gender-fluid, femme just... penguin. <laughs> so that was the outrageous moment, of course. I mean, this all came about because the BBC has begun doing educational videos telling children there are 100 genders, when even doctors in this country say there are a maximum of six. And many other people think there may be less than that. Um, I really raised the, po the point... If there's going to be 100 genders, mm. then that basically means anyone can identify as anything they like. Yeah. So I took this to the logical extension, decided I would now be a two-spirit penguin. And, in fact, we had lots of similar characteristics. They're carnivores, penguins. <laughs> they eat fish, but they also eat meat. Do they? Uh, yeah, I they, thought they only ate fish. They waddle a bit when they walk. Mm, a bit. Is, you know, mm. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> carrying a bit of timber. Their yeah. sense of gravity's quite <laughs> low. They're sweet and cuddly and everybody loves them. Oh, quite noisy. Well, universally popular, very noisy. They yap away yeah. all day, yeah. Uh, but they're the most popular, obviously, exhibit You're at obviously the zoo as well. You're watching different David Attenborough programmes to us. They're, everyone loves penguins. They're right? quite yeah, well, bright in true. their natural habitat. Very bright in their natural habitat. Yeah, that's another thing you don't Anyway, we had this debate and, of course, it all went viral and, of course, I had to be cancelled and oh, sacked and everything else yes. because the Twitter mob didn't agree with me. This was insulting. It was it was transphobic, even though I've always supported transgender rights mm. and so on and so on. Anyway, it went to Ofcom, the television regulator. 950 uh, complaints. They described it. Uh, a broadcast magazine said it was one of the highest number of complaints of any TV show in the country this year, which I was, I was quite personally quite pleased about. I know, you um, wear that as a badge of honour. Love complaining. I love Weirdo. complaints. What's weird about that? Being complained about? Oh, it makes me cringe. Oh, not being complained about. Oh, hope everyone's happy with me. Mm. Oh, a little vanilla. God. Yeah, some what? Like being liked and nice? With their breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Um, there we are. Oh, no one complains about us, is that? Uh, oh, just wait till the Ofcom ruling. Oh, yeah, well, what's quite cool is the Ofcom <laughs> ruling. Well, it's a very good ruling, I have to say. So, nearly a thousand people complain. This is exciting. And they all want me, they all want me fired. <laughs> the only person singled out for complaint is actually not me. By Ofcom? It's, it, it's Susanna. <laughs> who apparently did he not... He gets exonerated, yeah. I get criticised. I'm completely clear uh, for having very strongly held views on the issue of gender identity yeah. and, is, and have a right to express those views. Thank you, Ofcom. Yeah. Uh, we also understand GMB's audience has clear expectations around his provocative position on the issue. Basically, you asked for him, you got him. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't even think it's that provocative, actually. <laughs> Most people agree with me. On this occasion, we consider the discussion around gender identity, in particular yeah. Piers Morgan's assertion he wished to identify as a gender-neutral penguin. Yeah. It came close to ridicule of those with a protected characteristic. I don't even know what that means. Uh, with the potential to offend some viewers. <laughs> Everything has the potential mm. to offend some viewers, right? Um, but then they think about the fact there was a lack of challenge from his co presenter Thank you very much. <laughs> so the real villain... Well, like piece. I don't challenge you so every I'm, single moment of every programme. I'm in the clear. Old Halo girl. She she gets knifed. Uh, unlucky there, Susanna. Well, I'd just like to point out, we also considered the programme covered a number of discussions on gender issues, and Susanna Reid did point out people had the right to choose how they identify, which provided further context. Well done. Uh, however, Thank we took into account... Thank you very much. Which is, is, is the big point for me. We took into account Piers Morgan's when clearly... When ruling on Piers Morgan. We took into account... When you stop seething, Miss Halo... Yeah. Um, Sorry. Uh, never looks good on the old CV, the old Ofcom ruling. <laughs> 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 Um, my CV would look bad if I didn't have a few rulings there. Yeah, I'm going to wear it. With Ofcom. I still can't get a bad one. Um, <laughs> however, we took into account Piers Morgan's clearly expressed support and respect for the transgender guest on the programme, uh, India Willoughby, um, which is sort of the whole point. We also consider the programme has covered a number of discussions on gender issues, and Susanna Reid did point out people have the right to choose how they Thank identify. Thank you very much. So, the whole point is it's not transphobic to think that 100 genders no. is a load of nonsense. And that's really the result of this ruling. You're allowed to have an opinion opinion that that is ridiculous. Remember, one of these hundred is called something like Astra something or other, right? Yeah. Can't even remember the name of it. It means that you, your gender, as far as you're concerned, is an identification with the planets and the stars. Yeah. You feel an affinity with them. And, and that is your gender. If that's your gender, I'm allowed to be a two-spirit penguin. I see how it works. Weird that that's a... I think one of the Ofcom things was I didn't defend 100 genders. Why should enough. you? But I don't... I, I'm afraid I don't understand 100 genders either. Nobody I'm does. I'm going to put my hands up. There's one which I think is vapo gender. 
which is where you feel like... I think, can we... Oh, yeah, Jack, give me the full list, Jack. Here we go. Thank I mean, you very much. Thank you. But he doesn't say what these oh, are, right? One. This is just a list <laughs> of the... Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, Am I even on there? Uh, so we've got... Um, I mean, there's so many... But he doesn't say what these are, just says the name, right? No. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, the, the point being... If you're going to have a hundred... Two-spirit person. You could be anything you want. A gender. You can basically put your hand up and go, person. I am whatever I want to be. Mm. Right? And that's... I'm supposed to all say, OK, that's fine, fully respect you. But if then somebody else adds number 101, two-spirit penguin, that is an outrage. Then all hell has to break loose. Anyway, um, thank you. Thank you, Ofcom, for showing a bit of common sense. Two-spirit. Here. Here they right, are. Well, there we go. Look, Some I mean, of them swirling around behind us. Transmasculine, what is agender. Trans right, I mean, what are all these? I mean, gender very, variant. Here's the point very few people know what these are, right? And my complaint is that the whole gender debate, everything now is having to be changed mm. to cater for a very tiny number of people who even know what these terms mean. Mm. And I don't think that is the correct way to deal with this. You can be completely supportive of transgender rights. Uh, right, I would say, to the point where they damage women's rights. Then you have to look at it and say, well, hang on, what is fair? You know, these things have to be debated without, without the hysterical Twitter mob mm. simply saying, cancel him, he must be fired, he doesn't agree with me, fire him. That's not the way it works in the real world, as Ofcom has just ruled. So thank you, Ofcom, and thank you to all those who complained. You have, as I suspected, empowered me. That's got to hurt, right? God forbid.